Yo, what is up, guys? Boy, three three gems. I want to make another quick video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is a top ten draft picks that should not happen. All right, guys. So let's get into this shit. We some southern boys with the prime of strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. All right, so I'm just gonna. Get straight to the freaking point. I'm not going to add pictures and shit. I'm just going to say, and I'm going to give you a reason why. Number 10. Shinsuke Nakamura should stay his ass in NXT for at least a year or two. Why? Because he been in NXT. He been in the WWE for a good two, three, four, five months. Four to five months tops, all right? Since uh, April... All the way to now, people are saying, oh, he should be on the main roster. If if he should be on the main roster now, then he should have been on the main roster since day one. But they put him on NXT, you know, just for him to test out. Maybe just, just, just for him to get used to the WWE atmosphere, right? So my reason is, let him have a run with the NXT title. That's why he had that match with Baylor for it. He should not be drafted anywhere. Unless they're going to do double duty. Then maybe oh I can be okay with that I guess but um he should stay on NXT for at least a year or two and then he can finally leave because Samoa Joe is gonna leave once he gets once his NXT title run is over he's gonna come up so yeah uh, Shinsuke Nakamura stay your ass in NXT all right next Bobby Roode um. Why do I say Bobby Roode? Well, mainly because um, he hasn't freaking debuted on NXT yet. Well, at least, like, they didn't put on the network yet. Because I did saw a clip. He was in the ring cutting a promo. So, that's going to be up, I think, tomorrow. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah. I can't wait for that, Bobby Roode. Just to just for him to be in the, in the ring. It's just for him knowing that he's there. It's, it's mind-boggling to me, but he should stay. I don't want to see him go. All right, so number eight will be everyone's favorite wrestler, favorite female wrestler, the NXT Women's Champion, Asuka. Let her stay down there. She's been in NXT for 10 months. Let her chill there, all right? Let her lose the belt at NXT TakeOver Orlando next year. Let her be that dominant baby face, and then all, and then some mega heel that they create takes her down off her pedestal, kick kicks her off the off of her mountain, and then they can be the champion, and they could be on the high pedestal of NXT in the women's division. They should do that. So, just don't bring her up now, please. It's too early, and do it for me, please. Please WWE, don't do it. Do it for me. Alright, so number 7 will have to go to the Revival because they're the NXT Tag Team Champions. Two-time NXT Tag Team Champion. The first two-time NXT Tag Team Champion as a tag team uh, ever. I mean, Adrian Neville, I believe, won the NXT Tag Titles twice, but not with the same person. So, yeah. And also, uh, let them fight, you know, Tommaso Ciampa and Gargano, you know. Don't bring them up now. Wait until they're done. Wait until they lose the belt. All right, so that with that being said, number six will have to go to American Alpha. Also, let them fight uh, Office of Pain, and then let them lose to the Office of Pain in a way where they beat their ass up so bad that they go up to the main roster and they, they're not in NXT anymore. I will I will believe that storyline and I will like it if they do it that way. So it will it will be more believable if if that happens. So those are my two uh, picks in like one clip right now so yeah revival and american alphas don't leave yet all right number five naya Jax, naya thickness stay down with your hogan leg drop all right in nxt now i did say about oscar becoming the long uh, uh a long reign reigning uh dominating baby face of a champion but naya Jax could be that big ass heel they gotta make her a bigger heel than she already is you know she could be that big ass heel literally at the NXT TakeOver Orlando and take over Asuka's throne. So I would love to see that. Don't go anywhere yet. 
Number four, Bailey. She has unfinished business. She uh, at least wait until next month in August for after SummerSlam. That'd be nice. All right. So number three, Samoa Joe. Lord Jesus, stay your ass in NXT. You are not ready yet. Wanna know why? Because you were still NXT champion. Let him have that one match with Nakamura. Do not go anywhere. Stay in NXT. Maybe have a feud with someone else and then come up. You know, at least have one year. You know. All right. So I'm basically picking on the NXT stuff. So the last two, I'm just gonna save it for important shit. All right. Um. The. The thing I ha the problem I have is this was is with this the tag teams right the problem I have was that the tag teams should not be split up I heard the Wyatt family is gonna be split up regardless right that should not happen um Big Cass and Enzo they need each other they need each other no one can say shit they need each other without each other they're nothing I'm telling you without Enzo there's no Cass without Cass there's no Enzo so. They need each other badly, so they can't go nowhere. So tag team, stay where you are. Float back and forth on Raw and SmackDown. All right, my final pick is the best pick of all. Eva fucking Marie, stay your bitch ass down at NXT. Holy fuck, you need some work. Learn how to take a bump. Learn how to do more moves than suplexes. Learn how to do your finishing move correctly, and then come talk. So that's my picks, guys. Leave a comment below what you guys think about it. I'm going to get ready for SmackDown. Follow me on Twitter, at boy 13 gym Leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Do you agree with my picks? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm out. Later.